everybody, my name is Spamos and welcome back to Cool of the Sea. We made some significant progress. We explored the whole expedition site. We saw a temple that they uncovered and we fell victim to the ritual that literally covered us drowning in the black oozy stuff. And then be it a premonition, a, a fantasy or even reality. I don't know, but we were walking. We jumped off a cliff, we went for a bit of a swim underwater. We saw a behemoth and then we appeared on a beach line with a stricken massive ship. I want to know what's going on, I'm sure you do too. So, without any more stalling, let's begin! Welcome back to the game and welcome to the wreck of what I believe to be the Lady Shannon. The ship that brought my husband and his crew here for the original expedition. Now, they made notes in the base camp about, hurry to the Black Beach, something's happened to the ship. Oh, I mean, is this the beach? Torn apart and cast so far up the beach. What on earth could have happened to it? Well, I'm seeing on the bow some great big scratches. I think something was playing with it. Look at that. There's double scratches. Something literally tore this thing apart. Massive hole in the starboard bow. This thing is not going bad to see. Look on the bow, Lady Shannon. And there's a big old whaling harpoon cannon thing there. Oof! Can we get a peek inside this? I'm pretty sure we can go inside here. My it's God. plenty large enough. The ship's hull was ripped open. A few jagged rocks couldn't have caused a gash of this size. I want to have a snoop around inside there. We're going to, but I want to check the surrounding area real quick. There's a whole base camp being set up here. What is this? I don't know. I can't play with it, apparently. Yeah, it's not a rock that's done this. A rock doesn't have claws. Silly bitty. There's some tents back here. Looks like they took items from a stranded ship. From a stranded ship? You mean the stranded ship? Oh, this looks cozy. I mean, thunderstorm aside, when I get in here, look at this. Oh, I'm nice and cozy. No storm ain't gonna get me. Look at his contorted face. Is this what's going to happen to me? Yeah, cozy feelings are depleting fast. It took the four of us to subdue him. Where did he get that strength? Yeah, the black ooze has got to him. Those footprints definitely do not look human. They're kind of webbed, wouldn't you say? Kind of like what our hands were briefly like when we went for that swim. Mm -hmm. Hmm. Last picture. This picture is taken from a distance. What is he doing? Uh, there's somebody there. Is that the, the, the weapon, the gun? Floating rocks? Floating rocks? The doctor seems to be whispering to some rocks. Are they floating? I don't know. A doctor. Wow. Bad things happened to him. There's a radio thing here. Let's have a listen. So, uh, is, is this recording? Mm-hmm. <laughs> well, shouldn't we be listening to something, Frank? I have assembled and disassembled it. Twice. So it should be fixed, Mr. Eberhardt. I don't know. Maybe it was never meant to play music. Uh, uh, Where have you been this whole time? See you hard with us. See you hard with us. Oh my god. He's got a knife. <laughs> Get off me, you lunatic. Hold him. Hold him for Christ's sake. Call the Aurora, quick. To Dr. DeWitt. It was chanting an incantation there. Had a knife. I went a little bit crazy. Ooh, another mirror. Okay, more stuff to be seen here. What's this? Ward and Blake, the news agency. Whoa! Cults and rituals. An interview with Inspector John Raymond Legrazi. Oh, wah, 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 wah. Tales from beyond. It's too dark to see anything inside the tents. I should find a way to turn these lights on. Yeah, there's loads of like floodlights. There's gonna be a generator, probably back there, I would assume. I can power them up. Should we go straight to the generator? Oh, look at that. It's like such a scene from a war, end of world kind of disaster movie. Life ring. Lady Shannon. Oh, food cans everywhere. Steps. You look magical. Generator in. Here we go. Hmm. It might need to be turned on. Wait, is this not what I want? Well, that's a projector. Hmm. Hmm. It might need to be turned on. Hum, hum, hum. Screw it, we're doubling back. I'm gonna explore. <laughs> Screw you and your lights, please, game. Oh, there's a power cable coming over here. This is where they tied the guy up, I think. I'm afraid, and there are strange marks on the wooden pole. Yes, and the lights. Oh, the lights. He's repairing my old music box. Oh! Attack? What attack? 
attack. Frank trying to repair heavy Harry's music box just before the attack. So look behind them. That's the medic stumbling back towards camp. Hmm. And then this. What happened on this ship? They're inside. Ooh, okay. I am, believe it or not, incredibly excited to get inside that shipwreck. Oh, I want to explore it so badly. I like ships, I do. But you have to be patient. What's this? Someone took notes about some important dates. It's hard to hear you over the thunder and lightning. July 1st, we set up camp. July 14th, Roy blows up the whale's hatch. July 24th, we strike camp and move to the beach. July 14th, last entry in the Lady Shannon's ship's log. Same day. Also, the final entry on the ship's log is the same day the whale hatch gets blown. And it takes them two weeks to set this camp up, having after blown the hatch. Okay. Okay. Hello. The expedition only has five members now. Yes, it does. Look at them. Oh, supplies. Menu is rather limited here. Limited menu, but all the same, they still have supplies left. So they have food. They could be alive somewhere. Hey, this sailor is a dead ringer for my grandpa Isaiah. Well, that's a lovely antidote or antidote or whatever you want to say. Good for you. Okay, so the next big main tent, another thing. These two fellas seem to get along pretty well. Yeah. Ooh. Frank and Tenhora singing while working in the workshop. Tihora. Tihora, everybody. Pap pap. Another letter. I'm glad you stayed by his side, whoever you are. Frank, I understand what you are saying, but we can't leave Harry here alone. I know what you must be thinking. I'm only interested in the scoop. But what would you do if it were your wife who was sick? Would you let her die? I'm staying here to the end. See. Oh, well, thank you for sticking around. It may have killed you. Hello. More papers. Looks like Frank wanted to leave, but I don't know if Harry ever read this letter. Miss Ward, our lives are in grave danger on this island. Look what happened to Mr. Dr. DeWitt. The man is going completely bananas. I really think we should get off this island as soon as possible. Mr. Everhart was determined to leave until he found that organ thing. Do I have your support to try to convince him? Frank. So my husband was kind of feeling okay to leave. He made that discovery, and the discovery changed everything. And then, of a sudden, he no longer wanted to leave. These medical tools are hair-raising. The doctor was certainly well supplied with all kinds of substances. I mean, it's a responsible expedition. They brought a doctor, they brought all the resources they may need for every eventuality. Uh-oh. Oh, dear. This dock was a certifiable loon. Yesterday, the stones danced with my song. My song, Majim Lever de Beer. Everything is turned in. This place, there is a treasure. Eh, shkats. How good about that? How the boobababa. Right. Ooh. Hello? Okay. The black ooze is floating. The floating stones. The doctor spoke about this. Hello? Got a big old fist handy thing there grabbing that. Got a note on the floor. That son of a... Mm, DeWitt stabbed Frank. Luckily, it was just a flesh wound. It's a good thing they held me back. Well, I would have plugged that nutcase like the rabid dog that... Jesus, what am I saying? You're getting angry. I've never seen Harry so angry. Another note. Hmm. Oh. These symbols are linked to the piano keys. I guess it's going to be specific frequencies for specific symbols. Make a note of that, please. A book. Wow. Look at the size of these stones. South Pacific Expeditions. The Magalithic Basalt Stones. There we go. That's how you say that. Boof, 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 boof. We need power, though, before we can do anything with this. So... More for that later. How can someone build something like this out of stone? It's a pipe organ. Oh, I, I know of this. This is a real thing in real life. Huge stone pipe organ. The waves push air through carved stone tubes. Yep. And they make different frequencies and it makes natural oh, sound. Google it. I've been studying the structure for the last few days. The tones it emits change consistently with the tides. Okay, so we've got tidal tonage. We've got this little musical pl player piano thing over here, right? And then we also had some symbols that denote notes. Symbols, notes, tidalage. Things be a happening right here. So is it time to go inside the shipwreck? Or dare I push up a little bit further? There's the key. 
Oh. I think it's time to go in the ship. I'm going in the ship, everybody. It's happening. Okay, so there was that one photograph of them exploring inside the Lady Sharon. Ow. Am I going to find anything in here? I'm here looking for power. It makes sense that they would use the ship's generators to get the power running outside. But I don't know how much power this ship's going to be able to make anymore. I mean, the lights are on, so that's a good sign, I suppose. Ladder, ladder. Hop, hop. Made it to the top. This place is all falling apart. Trace of the ship's crew, nor their remains. Lady Shannon, Sydney. This is really cool. This is really cool. I'm really enjoying this. Cargo hatch is open. There's some seawater already flooding in. Got a generator panel over here. And power. Oh, this relay box is working. Right? Hmm. No power. I mean, it's lit up. Got a blinking light. Throw the switches! Oh. I'll try again. It's a combination puzzle. Yeah, it starts there. It's gonna go there. No, it's gonna, it's gonna start. No, 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 no. It starts there. It goes there. Goes there. No, 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 no. I mean, it goes there, then there, then there, then there. Green. Now, what exactly did I turn on? You got this relay box going, punk. Right, there's now power further down the line. But before we go play with that, I want to get further into the ship. I can enter the water? No, it won't let me. Okay. Is this door back here going to be open? That relay box is blinking now. Up, up. Nice. The door's open, everybody. That voice. I don't know how well you heard that, but yes, the crew are missing, unaccounted for, five known survived, sent help immediately. Harry? No, just a recording. Yeah, I'd be staying in here. There we go. Thank you, old friend. Oh, they've been scratching on the wall. Apparently, Harry's expedition waited for a long time to be rescued. Did they give up hope? 32 days before the scratchings ceased. There's a storm outside, it's horrible. This room feels nice, warm and cozy and above all dry. I'm just living in here. We've got a note over here. What do you want? I was completely covered in that black goo. I wonder what it'll do to me. Everything on this rotten island has something to do with that damned black ooze in one way or another. Even Dr. DeWitt's irrational behavior seems to be related to his getting exposed to that awful liquid. Yeah, I had a big old swim in it. But then maybe I'm special because I was already touched by the ooze on my hands. The black ooze's properties are perplexing. Black ooze test changing, changes consistency levitates when exposed to different vibration frequencies so that's how the elevator worked earlier okay and here we go see they're testing it's like a magnet basically i can play with this these knobs must control the vibrations inside this chamber Womp. i need to get this all perfectly balanced right because as i lift one it's gonna lift the other ones so that's now that oh i had it oh I did it i better write down those numbers in my journal I was clicking their wave there for quite a while and I misclicked past it, but it seemed to recognize it, so I'm not going to complain. There's some numbers. We saw another di dial thing like that in one of the tents. So we're going to play with those results for sure. What is this? Maybe the legend is more real than it seems. On the island of Panapepepepepe, there's a city called Nan Madol that's composed entirely of large basalt structures. Legend has it, the city was built with floating stones moved by black magic. Was it magic? It was ooze. All right, next table. Ponk, ponk. What were you looking for in the heart of the island? I was thinking this expedition had failed and was worried about how we'd get back home. But then I found those stairs that led me to the giant stone organ. It might be another way to get to the very heart of the island. In any case, there's nothing we can do until someone hears our distress calls. 
That's the spirit. If you're going to be stuck here, might as well work towards something. Pong pong. Frank is certainly a resourceful man. I've wired up your message to the radio like you asked, Mr. Everhart. It'll keep broadcasting as long as the ship's got fuel. God help us. June 30th, 825 AM, we delivered the six members of the Everhart expedition to the island without incident. We'll come back to pick them up again in three weeks. If there's anything left to pick up by then. 12.40 PM, left the island after lunch, no incidents. June 31st, 6 AM, the area nearby seems adequate for whaling. We might get a good catch. Book two. This is the captain's last entry. July 14th, 10.25 AM. Good weather and clear sailing until the surprise undercurrent shook the ship. I haven't seen the sea that rough in years. 17.25 PM. First mate swears he saw a huge sea creature near our hull shortly afterwards. Definitely not a whale. I saw a big sea beast. He had great glowing eyes. It would seem the Lady Sharon Caught something a little bit larger than it could handle. Yes. Okay, well, we're done. We've got our little radial numbery thingy thing thing things. Let's make our way back to this newfound power source, get the lights rolling, and see what else we can do. Okay, we're outside again. Park power. That should make things easier. It should make things easier, but will it? But oh, the power is on, everybody. I've already explored everywhere, though. So, I like it when a game has branching pathways, right? I like the idea that there's more to explore. But I always get concerned when there is a branching pathway. Like, do I go left or do I go right? If I go right, will there be an opportunity where I can no longer come back and explore left? You see what I'm saying? Pop, pop. So, I'm cautious to go... The lights over there are now on. Nice. I'm cautious to go too far in one direction in case I spoil things for myself, you know? Okay. Oh. Tide levels measurements by Harry Everhart. I hope you didn't borrow this slide projector from the University of Denver, old pal. So we've got some symbols there from full to empty. And there's a dictionary of sorts. Make a note of this. That's going to be important. See that? And then punk. And then punk. 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 So as the water depletes from the top, things change. This is going to be a difficult puzzle, I suspect. Okay, this doohickey. Got this number pad in here. I've got some hertz here, so 262. Okay. Home. Touch everything. Touch everything. There we go. So now we have all the hertz frequencies for that piano thingy thing thing thing. And we know this combination of hertz is going to make a, a rock levitate perfectly or something. So therefore, we need that symbol, that symbol, and that symbol. Okay, we know the three symbols we want. Right, let's climb these steps for the very first time and see where it's going to take us. All the colors, it makes it look like a kind of an ice palace or... Temple of Solitude from Superman or something like that. Do I get a nice view of the ship from here? Yep. <gasps> Pads. This is gonna float. Sometimes I still doubt whether this isn't just some ghastly dream. Look at the colors though. I bleed and love it. Okay, we've got a ritual. We've got free floating thingy thing thing things. What odd structure. It doesn't look like a building though. It's not a building, it's the water organ. Or the sea organ. Where is it? Oh, there's a way here across the front of the ship. I've not been down here yet. Maybe this might take us to the water organ. Because that would be by the seaside. I like the boat. Another tent. Improvised workshop. Improvised indeed. Everything here is improvised. This must be the highest part of the island. And that diamond shape again. How striking. Yes. Rather, what is this? You made it work, Harry. Now it's my turn. Good morning, crew. Sorry for the blur this morning. I didn't expect to wake all of you up with the noise from that awful organ. The good news is that the organ revealed the entrance to a temple. The bad news is that the temple is on the mountaintop. So I hope you're in a good mood for a good hike. All joking aside, 
The temple has the answer that I'm looking for. We can finally leave this damned island and go home. Thank you all for sticking with me, Harry. Once I work out how to make the organ do its business. Another note. So this is the reason the ship was scavenged. If we want to enter the temple on the mountaintop, we'll have to reproduce the effects of the organ somehow. I know we weren't planning on this, but we'll have to build a machine with whatever we can lay our hands on from the Lady Shannon. Do you think we can do that? Okay, so they've been peeling, hull plating away from the Lady Shannon. But that doesn't account for the scratches in the hull. That's not them. That's something else. Okay, well, I think it's time we made our way towards the summits. Spare lights. Oof. Yeah, that ship is going nowhere. Here we go. Now we're in business. When I get back home, I'm going to read up on engineering. I've been interested in knowing how things work since I was a child, but I always thought technology wasn't for me. What nonsense. I like her, like, kind of enthusiasm, like... In no way does she expect to fail here. Like, she's already planning like, to go home at some point, like... There's no doubt in her mind that she will be survived. S saved. Rescued. I don't... Ooh, I don't know, but look at that! That's awesome! Right, well, maybe the organ that they made is still here. The structure certainly isn't natural, but not man-made either. Mysterious music is mysterious. This feels ominous. I'm going to die. Right. A box. Open. Close. So we're going to open and close the channels in order to get a specific frequency out of it. Or something. Oh. Half moon, full moon, total eclipse. This is a very big puzzle. I found some stairs down the side, and we've got this water symbol here. Those symbols seem to indicate the height of the tide. And the height of the tide changes the resonance frequency of the pipes. I think we have everything we need to take care of this puzzle. Oh, and there's goop involved in this. So I guess we close all of these symbols, and we just leave open the three resonance that we need on this that one that one and that one okay so this guy open you up there you go that guy's open right this guy should be open it is open okay aha there was one kind of hidden in the main passageway open you up i believe punk so hang on if I look at the main dashboard, you can see how the ooze is being allowed access through the chambers we want. So that frequency, that frequency, and that frequency. I think we should be good to go. No. I think I'm doing the right thing, but I think I've neglected the height of the tides, which is going to shift the frequency. And annoyingly, my journal doesn't include that slideshow. So I think I have to go all the way back. Which is a little bit annoying, but we shall see, I suppose. Okay, here we go, everybody. So look, there's the different tide states. Punk, punk. So what was this is now that. There we go. So in reality, that becomes that. That becomes that. And then that comes that. Okay, let's go back. Okay, if my calculations are correct, we should now be ready to go. Here we go. What did I do wrong? Is it this thing in the middle? Should it be closed? Button! There we go! Holy mic. What kind of magic is this? That's not magic. That's black ooze. This is awesome. Achievement unlocked. Seaside serenade. And I thought the entrance is going to be back there. Okay. Unexpected. But I like it. And a nice view of the Lady Sharon right there. That was a difficult puzzle, I should say. It took a long time to work that one out. And there's a lot of running around. Like, you got to get all the pieces. Ooh! Hi. Okay. There's a box up here. Another note from my beloved! 
Before I put, hang on, before I touch it, I want to have a little look at the boat. A little look at the boat. Oh, look at that boat. <gasps> you ain't gonna boat anymore. Your boating days are over. And we got this mysterious thing with pushy things. All right, letter time. It's gonna be hard to hear of the storm going on. My dear old pal, I think I'm getting closer to understanding what is happening to you, but it is taking a toll on my sanity. As fascinating as this island and its ancient and unfathomable wonders may seem, it's also a place plagued with misfortune and calamities. We lost Roy at the campsite. We almost lost our engineer on this beach. The doctor went mad and stabbed him with a strange knife. And all because of this island, Nora. Initially, we were optimistic and in high spirits, but now we've all become resentful and discouraged. Even I can feel how I am constantly assaulted by dark thoughts. Anyway, if what I am going through here helps me find you a cure, it'll have been worth it. I hope to find an answer in the temple on that mountain peak. Love you always, Harry. My poor Harry. He is worried, exhausted, disheartened. I will find you, my love. Mysterious blade he mentions. The mysterious blade that we brought with us. Remember, we were summoned here. A mysterious note arrived telling us to come. I wonder if it's one of the remaining crew members who summoned us here. Mysterious musical box. This the special blades. See what the next one does. We got keys appearing. Double key. Next button. Oh, there's a doorway back there, and I think this is pulling away the blades that were blocking the door. That is so cool. literally an organ of the gods right here and then this the whole mountain is changing shape this is mental that's it that's where harry must have gone the temple at the peak of the mountain oh and i've now got a ramp down thank you Makes my life a little bit easier. I'm not sure why, but I don't feel this island is dangerous. Maybe it's because I haven't spent as much time here as Harry did. Maybe not truly dangerous. Although it has led to two people deaf so far. But definitely mysterious and definitely risk. Like they got a river of black ooze now coming out of this mountain. This isn't normal, Nora. Not normal in the slightest. Stop trying to normalize everything. The doorway is open. Next stop, the temple, everybody. Whew, that was quite a hike. Quite a hike, indeed. Chapter four, quite a show. Look where we are. So peaceful up here compared to how horrible it was down on that beach line. But as always, that's going to be an episode there for today. That was an absolute doozy of an adventure. The Lady Sharon, mighty fun exploring her. I kind of would have liked to have gone further through the ship and to have more to do on board the boat. That entire chapter was effectively one ginormous organ puzzle. And by getting the power on, picking up the notes from scattered places, all converging into one puzzle. I guess it wasn't difficult. So long as you had the information, you know? I guess that's the same for any puzzle. I don't know. But anyway, I'm loving this game still. Really enjoying it. It's taking a long time to film. These episodes you're seeing, they're heavily edited. I hope you're enjoying yourself. This is the last big show of the season of the year of 2020. So hopefully we're going to go out with a bang. Thoughts and opinions down below. Follow on the Twitter. And on that bombshell, thank you for watching. Rate, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you in the next episode. Goodbye, everybody.